Hey, what's up, beautiful world? Uh, we have Brett. Introduce yourself, Brett. Hi, I'm Brett. I'm a tax attorney here in New York City. What law firm do you work at, Brett? I work with Seward and Kissel. He works with Seward and Kissel, uh, and they recently published this amazing little report. About you, to publish. About to publish. <laughs> so you can't get it. It's hot off the presses. So I'm letting you guys look at his email address there and send him a lot of uh, tough questions about taxes. <laughs> and so this is Maureen, who's picking her eye. Hi. Hi, and Maureen is from? Uh, DC, Cogent Law Group. And so she's another tax aficionado here in the legal space. And so me and Maureen were in South by Southwest and we gave a brief video talking about uh, taxes and why paying your advisors in cryptos only might be a bad idea from a tax perspective. And Brett was like, Brett was like, hey, I have some thoughts about that that he would like to share. So go at it, Brett, what are your thoughts? So when you get paid in crypto, the value of that crypto when you get paid is actually taxable income to you. And if you were to later sell that crypto, you'll have a gain between the value that on the date it was received and the value as of the date it was sold. Um, if you get paid in crypto, you have to pay taxes on that. So you're going to want to later sell it so you can pay your taxes unless you have other money elsewhere. And then when you sell it, you have that additional gain. So you have even more taxes. So oh. getting paid in crypto is um, could be lucrative if it goes up a lot in value, but if it doesn't, you're still going to be stuck holding the um, a tax bill at the end of the day. Right, and if I guess if you have cryptos now, or if you're getting sold uh, paid in cryptos nowadays, there would be a loss too. But I guess even from the time that you you get those cryptos, so those crypto to crypto transactions are taxable absolutely events. So since they're taxable events, what does that mean to me as an advisor? Say I got, uh, let's say I got 100,000 cryptos, right, 100,000 tokens, and at the time they're worth two pennies, oh. right, 2,000 bucks. But, <laughs> 2,000 bucks, they're worth 2,000 bucks, okay. right? Uh, these are the lawyers, they didn't, they're not mathematicians. Um, so right now I've, I've made a profit of $2,000. Right. Suppose yeah. they go up from to, from. So you have two thousand dollars of ordinary income because that's, that's compensation for your efforts. Right. So if I, Samson Williams, receive them, is that personal income tax? Or do I pay personal income tax? Yes. So yeah. if, currently if, the top rate is thirty-seven percent. So yeah, you know, that's ordinary income to you. So if they go up to a dollar each, and now they're worth a hundred thousand dollars, and you later sell them, then you'll have. $98,000 of capital gain. Mm -hmm. Now, if you sold them more than a year after you received them, mm. you get long-term capital gains. Right, and that brings your interest down. Yeah, the rates, you know, that goes, drops the rate from 37 to 20%. So that's a good, that's a good proposition if you, if you strike it. Mm -hmm. Right. So I had a hundred thousand, I had 98,000, I need to pay 37% taxes on this capital gains. If you sell it in within a year of receipt, it would be a 37% tax rate applicable to the short-term capital gain. So basically, I lose $37,000. Give or take. Approximately. What, Approximately. what else are you going to say? Um, I mean, I would also say if you are thinking about um, what a taxable event is, just because it's a taxable event doesn't necessarily mean you'll be taxed on that amount because there are ways to... Um, you know, deduct your taxable amount based on ex business expenses, et cetera. There, you know, there are all these exemptions. Um, so just because you made the ninety-eight thousand doesn't mean you'll be taxed on all of the ninety-eight thousand. But I mean, but you should go proceed as though you would be taxed on the ninety-eight thousand, right? And then, yeah. and then speak to Brett, who will help you find ways <laughs> to be taxed on less. <laughs> yeah. so, if possible. Yeah, if at the end of the day, you know, tax day is coming up in about two weeks from now, April 17th, you have to pay your taxes. Right. You can file for an extension to file your tax returns, but your tax, the tax owed is still due on still the 17th. Yeah. So if you don't pay that, you're opening yourself up to penalties, interest. Um, so it's important that you pay your taxes. Oh, so uh, Brett via Uncle Sam. Our Uncle Sam be a brave. <laughs> it's important that you pay your taxes. Is there? I'm gonna ask Maureen this question. Uh, what did your shirt say? 
Where's my shirt say? It says, I'm my ancestor's wildest dream. <laughs> it's a, so that's... <laughs> undoubtedly, your ancestor's wildest dream was to, as Brett says, pay your taxes. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> probably not. But. What, is that, what, what is that one morsel of information that people need to take away about cryptocurrencies and taxes? Um, I would say that if you have any questions or if you're concerned about what your tax bill would be, that you should speak to someone who is um, familiar with taxes and how you should pay them and things of that nature. I think we should um, stop um, relying solely on, you know, Reddit and other um, websites that What's are wrong giving this. Sometimes you get misinformation from those websites. Yeah, I, I agree. Talk to your accountants. Mm -hmm. There are services out there that look like they can be very helpful for determining what your taxable gain or loss for the year with respect to your crypto activities are. Um, explore those. You know, if they have good reviews, highly recommend you know looking into that service as well in conjunction with you know what your accountant is doing for you. Cool. Okay. So, Brett, uh, how do people reach you so that you can do their taxes for them? Um, <laughs> First of all, I'm pretty sure you're not crunching numbers, right? Uh, I am Just, not. <laughs> let's be clear. Okay, but yes. How but, can we reach you? <laughs> um, you know, if, if your company is thinking about an ICO, um, you know, we advise a lot of uh, crypto hedge funds, something like that, then I'd be happy to chat. I work at Seward & Kissel. Um, if you Google me, my LinkedIn or my uh, profile for my law firm should come up. It's Kotler, C-O-T-L-E-R, at sukis.com. That's my email address. Brilliant. Maureen, how can people get in contact with you? Um, M Murat, M-U-M, sorry, I should say that again. M-M-U-R-A-T at cogentlawgroup.co. Brilliant. So we're here in New York, and I've got to show you this view. You can't really see it. It's a little uh, not small, foggy today. But way out there is the Statue of Liberty. So... Uh, if you ever come to New York, you should actually go visit the Statue of Liberty. And Brett is always happy to have you come drop by, take a, have a coffee. And where can they download a copy of this report when it comes out? Um, so we're going to publish it on our website, and we're asking a few outlets to, uh, to cover it. So you may be able to reach it through a few different websites. But, um, you know, if you, if you look on LinkedIn, you know, I'll certainly share a link to it but it will be certainly published on my law firm's website. Brilliant, thank you guys both. All right.